Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Welcome into the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. Rick is a partner of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, has over 20 years of experience in the financial industry. Uh, Rick Rivera, Reed Abedin, Eddie Soda started the company uh, over a decade ago, and they're here to help you figure out where you are on that road to retirement. If you'd like to find out more, you can always go to the website. Some great information on there. It's safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. If you have questions, boy, Rick, can I retire? I think I've done enough. I hope I've done enough. I don't know. Call the team and find out. There's no cost to you. It's 800 700 1980. Rick, welcome. How are you? Thank you, Mark. I'm doing real well. What about yourself? Doing very well. And, you know, we're going to talk today because we talk about fun stuff of retirement, but today we're not necessarily talking about fun stuff. We're talking about the importance of actually having the big picture blueprint, having your own plan for retirement that's all about you and your circumstances. We're going to talk about risk today. Uh, hmm. There are a lot of moving parts in retirement, Rick, and you've done this for a long time, sat down with a ton of people trying to help guide them in retirement. And, and you've seen bad things happen to good people. There's no question about it. And you've seen great things happen to people as well. What are some of the biggest potential threats as you see it to our retirement income? Because that's still one of the bigger concerns, outliving our money. Well, you know, it's interesting that you, you bring that up because it reminds me of a survey uh, that we've done. And actually, we do surveys from time to time with, with retirees. And we'll actually ask them, you know, what are your concerns? Maybe maybe you're five years away from retirement. Maybe you're already retired. And we'll say, hey, what are your concerns when it comes to your retirement planning? You know, what risks are you concerned about? And the reason why we ask these questions and, and do these surveys is because we want to make sure that we're always addressing topics that are important to them rather than a bunch of things they could care less about. And what I would say, which boils into the, the, the retirement income and retirement risk, the, the top responses that came back in the, in the surveys, Mark, were, People would come back and they say, okay, well, they were concerned about outliving their money. They were concerned about loss of principal. They were concerned about long-term care and drug costs. Because if you think about it, if you plan on retiring prior to 65, medical costs, uh, premium costs are quite high, you know, prior to 65. So that can definitely hinder whether or not, you know, you're going to be able to retire prior to 65 or not, or even after. Um, they're concerned about inflation. Keeping up with inflation, which I know for a lot of people, it's getting harder and harder to do nowadays. And also, they'd like to reduce their taxes because the more money that they, the more money they save in tax, the more money they have in their in their pocket. That that happened to be the top ones that came back in the survey. But coincidentally, when we did this survey, we ran into an article that was written by Morningstar that actually talks specifically about risks in retirement. And many of the same risks that are that came back in the surveys are, are the same risks that Morningstar talks about and a, and a variety of others. So um, this is a real, it's a good article. It talks about risks in retirement. It talks about the different risks one should be concerned with. But also on the very last page of the article, it gives you some good questions you may want to ask your advisors to make sure that they're covering all their bases with you. So um, it's a real quick read. It's about four pages. And if you send us an email at info at safeguardinvestment.com, info at safeguardinvestment.com, just put in the um, topics page, just, you know, risk and retirement article or risk article, and we'll be happy to send this uh, to any of the listeners as a PDF. That would be great to have the opportunity to actually read an article. You, you listen to Rick today on the on the radio show, and you're like, I'd like to know a little bit more about that. And he's got an article that's through Morningstar. Uh, so really easy to do, info at safeguardinvestment.com. The subject line, just write risk article, uh, risk in retirement article, whatever. And they'll just send it to you. There, there's no cost for that. It's just really there for your information. So it's a great opportunity for you to learn more. Then you think about outliving our money is still a concern. So longevity then certainly becomes a factor. We don't know how long we're going to be here. And then you talked about long-term care and the cost of drugs. To me, the two biggest unknowns are we don't know how long we're going to be here. And we don't know if ourselves or a spouse, or a family member will have a health issue. Those are two huge unknowns, I would think. Completely. And, and this is the scenario where there's a variety of uh, things that come in, in, into play here. Somebody could win the comfortable retirement mark where 
They got the assets. They're feeling good. And the one thing that I've seen that can decimate a comfortable retirement is healthcare costs and long-term care. Because let's face it, depending upon somebody's condition, you know, at ten to twelve thousand dollars a month, uh, a care cost that can eat into somebody's savings real quickly. And if they're doing that. And then God forbid that person passes away, we now leave the surviving spouse destitute and now they have to make adjustments in their lifestyle. Does that mean they have to now sell the home and downsize to a smaller place or, you know, do a reverse mortgage or whatever? So, so uh, health care, uh, long term care, all of that definitely definitely plays a, a factor in retirement. And, and the other thing, too, is years ago, people would say, oh, well, you know, you don't you know, if you're going to do long term care planning, you know, you average stay in a long-term care facility is is two years. Well, what I can tell you that we've been seeing lately is that nowadays people are living much longer than that and extasia are, are, are going longer with certain chronic issues such as dementia, um, Alzheimer, things like that. People can live, you know, 10 years like that. So, you know, just planning for two years may not be enough. And uh, there are a variety of different ways that this can be handled outside of just traditional long-term care insurance. But I would certainly say, if you feel like, oh, hey, I I won the comfortable uh, retirement, I'm good. I would say it's worth at least lobbying in a phone call or just talking with somebody that specializes in this area. So that way you're not accidentally caught by surprise. The sooner you do the planning, the better off you're going to be. Whether it's it's purchasing traditional long-term care insurance or maybe self-insuring or a variety of other options that you have, at least research and get and get your options. And again, if you like that Morningstar article, it's info at safeguardinvestment.com. And then in the, the subject line, just put, you know, risk article or risk in retirement article, uh, and the team will send that right out to you. And of course, if you want to sit down and chat with them, you do have questions or concerns about long-term care, about the cost of drugs. Because one thing with Medicare, you do have to watch when the Part D, every year they kind of shuffle the prices of drugs. You might be yeah. paying 5 bucks one year and 100 bucks the next year. Uh, you'd like to know that. So it's really great to work with a retirement planning team like Safeguard Investment Advisory Group because they're on top of all of that for you. 800-700-1980. 800-700-1980. So when you think about it, and you know, Healthcare Fidelity has done this research forever, but Back in 2014, they said the average 65-year-old healthy couple uh, would should expect to spend about $220,000 after taxes on health care, not including long-term care. Well, Fidelity obviously has updated that. 2023, they say it's going to be about 315000 after taxes, not including long-term care. So you mentioned long-term care. There are a lot of options. There's certainly the old long-term care policies, but people don't want to spend much money on something that they might lose that money. We've done that all our lives for home you know, insurance and car insurance. We don't want to use it or lose it. So there are a lot of options in that area, correct? You just mentioned a few. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, the, the challenge with traditional, like you were saying, the challenge with traditional long-term care insurance is, you know, you pay a premium every month. And if, you know, God forbid, let's say costs continue to rise, uh, but number one, sometimes long-term care insurance can be expensive, especially for those people that decide to do this planning late in life. It can, it can be very expensive. So the sooner you do your planning, the better. But the challenge with it, like I was saying, is that as costs of, of, of care continues to rise, like those premiums go up and you can no longer afford it anymore and you decide to cancel it. Well, it's not like you can get the money back. Or if you pass away and you don't use the money, it's not like the insurance company is going to send the money to your beneficiaries. So there are some challenges to traditional long-term care insurance but there are other options out there available, whether you want to self-insure. Uh, there's other programs where, you know, you can put a lump sum of money in and um, cover you from long-term care where you don't have to worry about, you know, premiums rising on you. And if you decide you want to cancel a policy, you can at least get your money back out of it. And if you pass away, there's a death benefit for the beneficiary. So at least the money's not lost while still leveraging your, your money and getting tax-free money to use for long-term care. And then some people, just depending on how you can structure things, there's Medi-Cal planning too, you know, and we have an attorney that specializes in that. So, you know, and being in such a short segment, I can't go into detail on every single uh, option, but what I do want people to know and make sure that they're clear on is that there are other strategies that can be used outside of just long-term care insurance. And depending upon a client's particular situation, 
we might be able to use a couple of different strategies together to find that perfect um, plan for that individual based on what they're going on and assets and everything else. So sometimes we can pull tools from different strategies and make them work together to reach that goal. Just to give you peace of mind, knowing that, hey, if God forbid something happens, at least I know, you know, I don't have to spend down all my assets or I'm going to leave my spouse destitute or, or, you know, um, you know, we're going to lose that comfortable retirement. Yeah. And if you were somebody that won the lottery that was over a billion dollars or won the mega millions that was over a billion, hey, you're pretty comfortable. You could self-insure. Something happens, I've got the cash. So there are a lot of options. That's the idea. When you have questions, you have concerns, you're not really sure, don't think you're pigeonholed into only one option. There are a lot of different options that a team that actually works in the retirement world and has done so for over 20 years, Rick and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group are here to walk you through those options, help you make a decision that makes the most sense for you and your situation. 800 700-1980. No cost, no obligation for you. 800-700-1980. The nice thing I think about this is the opportunity for you to find out where you are uh, investment-wise, income, are we going to be okay? You know, what about taxes? What about health care? What about long-term care? What about the drug plans? What about legacy planning? What about Social Security and Medicare? All that stuff. They can walk you through all of that and give you the information. And then you make the decision because at the end of the day, it's your retirement. It's your decision. But why not work with a team that can help guide you? Safeguard Investment Advisory Group here to help. Again, that number, 800-700-1980, 800-700-1980. Back with more about risk in retirement with Rick Rivera with Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Back right after this. You're listening to The Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now, back to the podcast. Welcome back to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera, a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Again, you can always go to the website to learn more, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. And of course, we're talking about risk in retirement. And Rick said, hey, I got a great article from Morningstar that's all about risk in retirement. If you would like that article, all you have to do is go to, just send an email, info at safeguardinvestment.com. And then in the subject line, just say risk article or risk in retirement article. And they'll just send you that article. Easy to do. Easy. Info at safeguardinvestment.com, risk in retirement article, and you will get a copy of that. No cost to you. It's there. They're here to uh, really help guide you a little bit. And you have questions afterwards, you can always call them, 800 700 1980. We're talking about risk in retirement. I'm Mark Kelly. Glad you're with us. We're talking about risk in retirement. And Rick said, okay, we always do a survey talking to our clients. What's what's kind of on your mind? What what kind of has you nervous about retirement? And, and of course, it starts with outliving our money. We're always fearful of that. Uh, it was also long-term care. Prices just keep going up and up and up. Drug costs, because drugs could be $5 one year. The next year, it's 100 bucks a month. That's a huge difference. So you've got to keep up on all the Medicare offerings and the Part D drug uh, options that are available to you. So that's where we started. Now we're going to get into three other kind of concerns that people have. Certainly loss of principal, inflation, reducing taxes. We know taxes are changing in 2026, and it's pretty eye-opening when you when you actually see the numbers. But let's start with the loss of principal, Rick, because we can't control the markets, but if we're trying to control what, what goes up and what goes down, it's maybe don't have 100% of our money sitting there, but we typically do while we're working. So we adjust a little bit when we get to retirement, I guess. Yeah. And that's a big thing, you know, and this is where I say, and I'm sure the radio listeners are, you know, that continue to listen to the show heard me say this before, but that's where there's a big difference between accumulation planning versus income planning. And when you're working and you got a paycheck coming in every week or every month, you know, and the market is being volatile. Well, obviously, you, you know, you're not relying on that money to live on. So when the market is actually down, it's doing you a favor because now you're able to scoop up more shares at cheaper prices. Your interest and dividends are buying you more shares at cheaper prices. You know, your company's contributing, you know, buying more shares for you at cheaper prices. You're taking advantage of your free money. So you got time on your side. You don't need to worry about it. But once you go into retirement planning phase and let's say you need income off of those investments, now market volatility can become your enemy. Because if the market, if you need 4% to live on and the market's down 10, you're now down 14. So now you're intensifying those losses. So there are specific strategies. Now, I'm not saying we need to run away from all risk when we, when we retire. That's not what I'm saying. So don't misconstrue what I'm, what I'm saying. 
What I'm saying is that when we're retired and we know that, hey, we need to dip into these assets for, for income purposes, we have to evaluate the risks that we're taking, make sure it makes sense for our particular situation. And it, it's um, enhancing what we're doing, not taking away. So we need to make sure that we have an income plan that is structured that regardless under any economic environment, we, we have our base, our foundation laid out that is not going to affect it. So if there is a market downturn, we're like, oh, hey, I don't need to worry. As a matter of fact, during market downturns, we know how to leverage those in our favor in retirement. It's not a scenario where you're, like, where you're holding your head and going, oh, my God, you know, the market's down five you know, and, and I'm pulling out five to live on. I'm now down 10. Is this money going to last me the rest of my life? So it's really having a game plan, a strategy and understanding there's a huge difference between accumulation planning and income planning in retirement. And unfortunately, a lot of advisors out there are missing the boat. It's a huge difference. Yeah. It's kind of like the, the old saying from Warren Buffett, when others are fearful, be greedy. When others are greedy, be fearful. So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. So we're talking about risk and retirement. And if you'd like that article again that came from uh, Morningstar, uh, Rick has a copy of it. He'll send it right to you. All you have to do is, is email the team at info at safeguardinvestment.com, info at safeguardinvestment.com. And then in the subject line, just put risk article or risk and retirement article. You'll get it. They'll just ship it right to you, uh, right through the email. Pretty simple process, no cost to you whatsoever. Info at safeguardinvestment.com. Uh, just write risk article and you are good to go. We're talking about risk in retirement, which is why we're offering that article uh, on risk in retirement from Morningstar. Inflation. Are we still worried about inflation or you were worried about inflation 10 years ago when it was 2%, I suppose. We always probably should be worried about inflation. If we're going to be retired 20 or 30 years, inflation will always be a factor, whether it's 1%, 2%, or 10%, right? You know, yeah, absolutely. We always have to be concerned with inflation. That's pretty obvious. Most people are, are aware of that. And, you know, funny, many, many of my clients today, you know, even tell me, you know, hey, they paid more for their SUV that they're driving today than they did for their first, first home. You know, I had a I had a client uh, not too long ago that told me, you know, they they bought um, their first home in West Covina. They paid sixteen thousand two hundred, and people thought they were crazy back then. You know, so so that's an example uh, of inflation. And um, the scenario here is this: we know we need our our assets and our, our income to keep up with inflation. But the challenge that I see out there, Mark, is that sometimes you know when we meet people for the first time, we'll say, Hey, listen, you know, has there been a plan devised in order to keep up with inflation? Sometimes people will say yes. Sometimes they'll say no. If they say yes, we'll say, well, what inflation rate is being used in your particular situation? How, you know, how did you and your current advisor uh, put that together? And a lot of times they'll tell me, they'll say, well, Rick, you know, I'm not quite sure. I think he has it pegged to what the Wall Street Journal is reporting inflation is, or maybe what the government is reporting inflation or, 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 or some other index. If they are doing that, folks, they are lumping you in with everybody else. Because the point that I want to make is that inflation affects people differently. You know, I have clients that tell me, hey, Rick, you know what? When I retire, I actually want to travel. Well, we know travel costs are rising around 6%. Somebody else might tell me, Rick, I'm concerned about medical care and, and, and drug costs. That's rising around 7 Somebody else might tell me, hey, Rick, you know what? They're like you. They're like, hey, Rick, you know what? Um, I just want to play a little golf in retirement. Maybe I don't want to uh, travel as much. You know, so maybe 3 or 4% is okay in their situation. So the point that I want to make is that a good advisor will sit down with you ask you the appropriate questions, figure out what your goals, what your objectives are in retirement, and then design an inflation rate that fits your particular situation rather than um, lumping you in with a bunch of other people or some random index that has nothing at all to do with your particular scenario. So making sure that everything keeps up with inflation does need to be customized. Yeah, and if you have concerns about it, it's 800-700-1980 to chat with the team, 800-700-1980. The last one that Rissa we're going to talk about today, a couple minutes left to do so, is reducing taxes. And we know that the 2017 Tax Cuts Jobs Act, which lowered our taxes basically, ends, it sunsets in 2025. So when we get to January 1 of 2026, our taxes right now, we know Congress has a pencil when it comes to our tax laws, but right now it's planning to go back to the 17 rates and brackets. So Rick, here's a couple quick numbers for you. Top of the, and this is married, top of the 12% right now is 89,450, 12%. 
In 2026, if it stays the way it was in 17, you're in the 25% bracket. 22% top now, 197.50. That puts you in the 28% bracket. 24% right now, 364.200 is the top. That puts you in the 33% bracket. This is not just a 3% bump in our taxes. It could be much more, couldn't it? Oh, absolutely. You know, think about it. With all the money the government's spending right now, I, we, we definitely are. No, nobody that I talk to tells me that they feel that rates are going to come down. So we know that rates are going to continue to go up. They're definitely not coming down. And the scenario here is that, unfortunately, so many people do things kind of willy nilly and they assume there's nothing that they can do. You know, again, in these surveys, you know, we'll, we'll talk to people and they'll say, hey, Rick, you know what? If my stockbroker hasn't shared any ideas on how I can reduce taxes or my tax preparer hasn't shared any ideas with me on how I can reduce taxes on my current situation, I assume nothing exists. You know, sometimes you go to the doctor, he gives you an opinion. You go to another doctor to get a second opinion. Folks, you can't be afraid to do the same thing when it comes to your taxes, your investment planning, and all the rest of it. Because so many times I see people that are even in low tax brackets, and I'm able to say, hey, listen, it's great that you're in a low tax bracket right now, but let me show you how we can even leverage this even further for you down the road. Maybe that means we can actually level Roth conversions more efficiently for you. Maybe there's a way we can actually minimize the taxes on your investments. And I mean, the list goes on and on, and I know we don't have much time left, but again, this is something that I would suggest, regardless of your situation, don't be afraid to get a second opinion because it, it, going forward, it'll make, it can make a huge difference. So the Safeguard Investment Team and Rick Rivera are here to help. Again, that number is 800-700-1980. No cost, no obligation, no pressure to you. 800-700-1980. And Rick says if you come in and you have a conversation with him, he will basically just guarantee you that he has two ideas that will enhance whatever it is you're currently doing. There you go. There's no cost. 800-700-1980. And if you like that Morningstar article on risk and retirement, again, it's info at safeguardinvestment.com. And just in the subject line, write risk article or risk and retirement article. Info at safeguardinvestment.com. So always a pleasure chatting with Rick Rivera. Hopefully you will chat with him as well. 800-700-1980. Find out where you are on that road to retirement. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a great week. Rick and I will be back with more of the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisor Group next Saturday. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable. But accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement.